Nigeria was amalgamated in 1914 by Lord Lugat, as you all know. And uh, of course, when we all came together, they implanted in us the language of the European, just like any other nations of Africa where they colonized. Examples like Ghana and some other countries. However, the East Africa, they were able to have their own common regional language called Swahili. In West Africa, it was it's been a, a land of a divide and conquer. The Europeans came, they sold their language to us, and told us not to even speak our mother tongue. I remember in my elementary school in this country, I paid one penny for speaking my mother tongue. That's how bad it was. I remember those days, almost every household item, spoon, plate, and the crown and the, the, the logo of the crown with Elizabeth. In other words, we continue to live under colonialism. There came political independence in 1960, and the public, and so on. That did not, they did not leave us alone to speak our languages. In the fact we put up, they said, okay, you guys want to speak your mother tongue? Then they came with the introduction of nine Nigerian languages translation on the radio and the television, right after the news bulletin in English language. After translating the act, after reading the English in the English language, they took about close to two hours translating it from Hausa, uh, Igbo, Yoruba, Kanuri, Mokudi, Edo, Yorobo, and so on. It's really it's recording. Go ahead. You can always try it. So this thing went on. And I was growing up as a young boy. Then that thing got to my my last nap each time they start doing all this. You no, know, depriving me of other television and radio programs. Then I started to write to the federal government, wrote for the Daily Times and as much as I could, that this thing is, is a hard. I did put somebody on board translating my Nigeria. I would the funny thing about it, when you are speaking Igbo, when you are translating Igbo, the Yoruba person <coughs> turn off the radio or the television. I remember I was coming from a diary one of those days. I was on the front seat on a public platform. Uh, the driver put on the radio. They were translating the um, news. No sooner they finished the um, they want to trans translate Europe, but the driver said, mm. they cut it off. I said, wait, wait, wait. I said, I said, that's my language. He said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was in San Jose from that place, but I just want to establish the fact that this country belongs you don't have to listen to one, and <laughs> when you speak to the other one, you turn it off. But however, to cut a long story short, along the pace of time, I re received vision. I received inspiration. Right before, I don't my age of seven or eight, I started meddling with languages, because those languages, they were 
teaching on the radio and the television, I had started memorizing almost every word in the different Nigerian languages. And when I'm going, I say a car road, a road. I just be reading news on my head. Until one day, somebody asked me, what do you want to do when you grow up? I said, I want to invent something. They said, what? What are you inventing? I said, I don't want to be a bricklayer, a carpenter. I want to do something that has never been done before. And then he said, what is it? I didn't know until eventually I came up with this language. When I was dreaming, I started dreaming with my school children as if we were in the class, just like this. But the language was different language. It wasn't the common known language on earth. I remember those days when you, before you get into the classroom, you file in, you pick drum, match, you guys know what I'm talking about. You sing a song. Those things were always coming up in my brain. See myself beating drums, singing with my fellow students in the school, and but the language was different. Until I started to, I woke up, started to get to many the languages. And there come the traditional Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba vocabularies that always on my head. So it's like my brain becomes a melting pot of different languages. And then I came up with a language called Open. Open is opposite English, O P P E N. So how was Open spoken? Open was a reversal of A, B, C to Z, from Z to A. I created the language called Open. For instance, you say, come here. You say, explain C, B. That aside. Then I came up with another language called Gosa. Gosa was interlining of the different Nigerian language words. Instead of, you know, when you speak in Yoruba, it is the tendency you speak Yoruba and put in one in English. But in my own case, when I speak Edo, I added Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, Kanuri, and goes away. That's how my brain was working. So when I left my soil, my native place, which is Venice, to live with my uncle in the east, in a new book. Now I have to learn the language of the East, Igbo. As, as I tried to learn Igbo language, I found myself interjecting Edo into Igbo language. They all laugh at me in the house. They say, are you mad that I was wrong with you? I say, I'm not mad. That's how my brain is functioning. And then from there, we were transferred to Lagos. I added Yoruba. So we now have Edo, Igbo, and Yoruba. Then uh, I kept on, um, everything I see on the road as I'm, uh, as I'm walking, I, my brain translated into this language. Until one of those days, my uncle sent me to the San Gross Market in Lagos to go and buy toilet roll. When I got to the market, I saw all these, all these women, they blocked my way. I wanted to say, Kuro Lono in Koja. I said, Biko Kuro Nuzo Kan Koja. Then they look at me, they say, Kojamo Okoro. They presume me to be Okori person. And the Igbo people presume me to be Yoruba person. Then as I pass, my friend said, what did you just say this? I told you, don't speak that language openly. You have to think your brain before it. So in other words, I had so many channels in my brain. <laughs> the Edo channel, the English channel, the Yoruba channel. <laughs> So, so, as things went on, I started documenting everything until we got to a point. I created another language again, about three of them. I went to, so I wrote to a letter to Tony Momo, who was the former minister of information. He was then the editor of Daily Times. I went to meet him at Kakawa. He referred me, wrote a note that she go to the Department of the Industries, Unilag. I went there. Yeah. All the language mongo, all those baba with gray hair, they all had a meeting and put me, me, me. I was about 21 when sat me down. 
you know, by what you say, you say, you, you invented. I, I spilled everything. He said, the, Daddy told me that uh, the old bank won't work, won't serve Nigeria as a lingua franca because it's a product of English. If we don't want English, there's no need to speak English. Open. It's still a product of English. Just like the pigeon. If you don't want English language as a lingua from an indigenous language, there's no point speaking, teaching pigeon, because pigeon is a byproduct of English. Pigeon is not a language of instruction in any school or university. Anyway, in a nutshell, some of them told me to use my brain for some of that thing. <laughs> and then the other people said, hmm, this Bosa is very good, but it's an uphill task. It's not possible. I said, you, what did I say? They said, young boy, it's not possible. I said, okay, now you told me what to do. I said, tell me it's not possible, and I'm going to tell you it's possible. Then I went back to my brother, brought out all my writings on this Bosa language, and then document him and start to write the dictionary. Then I, I published the first dictionary in 1987. It was launched at the National Theatre, supported by the then uh, sole administrator of culture, Kamila Kogun. And then the uh, minister, Tony Momo, was there. A lot of dignitaries. They had from me how I spoke the Bosa. And it is simple. In Bosa language, you want to say, please give me water, for example. He said, Biko, from the name Ruwa. As simple as that. Biko, from the name. Everybody said, Biko, from the name Ruwa. 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 Biko, from the even more than that, because the word means M-I is not only in Yoruba. Ishakuri, they use the word me for first person pronoun. Up to Ghana, they use the word me for first person pronoun. Epic, they use the word me, non minimum, for first person pronoun, and so on. It goes beyond that. Biko Fumini Abinchi. Everybody say, Biko Fumini Abinchi. Biko Fumini Abinchi. This hungry man is an angry man. All you may want to hear is the ability. So, all these words have been built. I came up with a big size dictionary, even from the website, of about, uh, about 600 pages, hmm. made up of words and dialects from. Nigerian languages across down to Ghana, Togo, Sayano, a similar example like the Swahili or the East. So as I moved on, when I finished the, the, this uh, current edition in 2007, no, it's back by the 1995-96. Before then, I take it back. In 1998, when the dictionary was the first dictionary was launched at the National Theatre, mm -hmm. I got a letter of invitation from Boston University. Because the news was transmitted through CNN, through BBC, and all over the world. And before you know it, BBC sent a correspondent here in fire to come and tell him Radio France, all over the world. It came. I was a little new at that year, so uh, you see them. Um, First university, they sent for me to come address a world conference. Uh, I went. When I brought there, it was a big conference. First time to have a simple that kind of a crowd. After presenting my address, guess what? You know, the whole hall is was full of praises and echoes, praising me. But guess what? Two people or three stood up. I was Professor Minancha. No, no. I will say it. If you do that, I will say it. No, no, I'm not sure. Professor No, no. So now, <laughs> Mr. Gwineweka, if you had come here to address this world audience, tell them about the language of Gosa, I don't have an issue with that. 
but to tell the world that the federal government of Nigeria are supporting you in this language, uh, I don't think you are true. I don't think that is correct, Mr. Minister. You will please everybody. <laughs> what is going on with these people? And the other one said, oh, uh, I am the president of the Nigerian Language Center. The government of Nigeria has decided that Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba should be the official language. How dare you say you came up with Bosa? So they slapped me left and right <laughs> in a war of ideas. And then the third one, okay, this Bosa language, thank you, congratulations. There is no syntax. No, this, he started pitching all the linguistic uh, loophole. And guess what? A white guy stood up and said, please save our time. When this man was talking, he mentioned the word syntax, he mentioned the word adjective, he meant what you were not listening. Let's move on. That's how that man And I told him, and I said, look, I didn't come here to tell you that Gosa is the official language. I only said I have invented or evolved a language that if it is developed, it will serve as a legal framework that removes tribalism, political instability, trust on each other in Nigeria and beyond. That's what I said. By the time I finish, the started sitting down. So now, the Gosa language keep moving and moving and moving. At the Richmond High School in California, they included the language as a school syllabus. To tell you that I'm not just grabbing or coming to tell you what I have the, all the paper to support what I am saying. See, this is an interview by a United States newspaper on me, about the Bosa, which started from here. And then, here, this is the school syllabus for a Richmond High School. And they, they sign it up, and the student pay twenty dollars to learn this language. You can imagine if the Federal Ministry of Education, National Institute of Cultural Orientation, the university take up this language. Even if they are collecting ten naira for the, they will have enough to fund educational uh, language system. But like every other thing, forget it unless it comes from uh, some reason. So, to cut, cut the long story short again, before coming here, another college had invited me to sign up the language before the end of fall. Guess what? Every year, we have the Bosa Language International Conference being held and organized by California State University, Hayward, and the Executive Secretary and my Honorable uh, Director Admin Alex Orientation. They were there to witness the conference. Last year conference is every August. And I have the invitation right here. If any of you want to sign up for the conference, I have it, I will give it to Mr. Alex. You can be happy. And then Again, more of the body language. If I say, me me wu afani, me me is what? How do you get to me me? Me me, I wish I had it. Okay. Me me, M E N I, down and I. Many is what? Okay. How do you get many? Kausa says many. Igbo says Gini. Yoruba says Gini. In Gosa, we use many. We take care of the three languages. Then the, the, the word is, which is IS, is W in Igbo. Many. 
and it's a singular verb in the Bosa. When you say menibu afa, ni afa is the Igbo word meaning men. Afa is men, ni you in the Yoruba. Menibu afa ni. What is your name? Menibu afa eni. What are your names? So the language has structure, it has system, it has any linguistic pattern you can think about. More than that, a lot of scientific words, cultural words you don't have in our local languages are built in the Bosa language. Medical words, name it. So when you go to the airport, for instance, you arrive at the airport, instead of a, 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 a car, as you say, a car was in Nigeria, and uh, not in Nigeria. It's simple. Eko Abia si Kasa Nigeria. Everybody say that. Eko Abia si Kasa Nigeria. Eko Abia si Kasa Nigeria. Eko Abia si Kasa Nigeria. That word Eko Abia is welcome. Eko is Yoruba. Bia is Igbo. Meaning welcome. Kasa is country in Hausa, Nigeria. And again, the word Ekoabia goes beyond Nigerian territory. In Ghana or tree in Ghana, they say Akwaba, meaning welcome. So that's why I told you Bosa is like the Swahili for the East. It's going to unify us linguistically, politically. Uh, name it whatever language is connected. And the language touches every major and minor language. Calabar, I think it's there. When I say Abasiowa, meaning there is God. God there. Abasiowa. Everybody say Abasiowa. Abasiowa. Abasiowa, name God there. God is there. Abasi Neri. God is looking at you. So, Edo is here, Urobo is here. Let me do. If I say, Awa Gatun, Nuzola, Bibiawa, Bayo, meaning we will see next week. Goodbye. Awa is Yoruba, meaning we, Ka, Igbo, Mu, Igbo. Na, Uzola, Uzola is an Edo word, meaning weak. Abayo, you chop people, they say, Abayo. I want to do the life, baby, I want to have you. Then we move on as one nation, one people, with purpose, with determination, with vision. Right now, we are Nigeria as a lamentable country because of this language and religious issues. So those are the two issues, and God has given me this inspiration. I will keep doing the best. When my time is up, Somebody may say, okay, let us pick it from here. The ball is not in your cup. You can get money from this language, you can get fame, you can get education, you can get business. In the dictionary, like I told you, when it is, if you have it, you can even market it. As we are talking now, what our lesson could be documented, and somebody I introduced a language in Gaskia College some time ago, many years ago. One of the students wrote a, a simple introduction uh, pamphlet on the Bosa based on the lesson I taught them. This is how we move. So please, ladies and gentlemen, I really thank you for giving me your time.
you can have two, three Nigerians who buy into the ideas. I think uh, the language will not only solve our Libra uh, Franca issue, it will help uniting the country as well. Uh, but I have uh, just two issues, two questions. Uh, one, you know, one question and then one observation. Uh, the first is uh, your idea of uh, this new language. Is it to replace our other indigenous languages? If not, have you thought of the effects on our indigenous languages? Especially given the fact that not too long ago, UNESCO had predicted that a lot of indigenous languages were going extinct, including the Igbo language in the next century, may go extinct. Thank you very much. Uh, that's a nice question. Gosa is not hard to replace your mother tongue. It's a compliment. In fact, Gosa will help you to sustain your mother tongue. Because every word in Gosa comes from your mother tongue. So the, 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 the uniqueness of Gosa, therefore, is you pick a word from my language, you pick a word from my mother tongue, I pick a word from your mother tongue. Am I right? You learn from me, I learn from you. When you are with your family, you are in your meeting, town hall, speak your mother tongue. But when we come together as a unified, as a nation, we should have a language that everybody at least can pick up what is going on. If I just come here now and speak all Igbo, nobody will understand me, only the Igbo people. But if I speak Bosa, and how some person will pick one or two or three words and say this one is at least not causing me. And from there be able to put a little present to catch up. So both are help you to speak and sustain your mother tongue. Because the words are pulled up from your mother tongue. And not only your word, my word. And that's why I said Gosa is language from Nigeria, for Nigeria by Nigerians, and that is called linguistic democracy. Okay. Yes, dear. Thank you very much, sir, for this Bosa language. We told us that you had made efforts and the language was incorporated into it. You told us that the language has been Located into a syllabus yes. outside the country. Yes. I know there were challenges before yes, that could be done. But my question is, what efforts are you making so that at least from the primary, secondary level, that this could be incorporated into a syllabus? Yes. Because I know it must start from something before it goes. So what efforts are you making? to get this inculcated into your syllabus. Thank you so much. Um, the tree does not make a forest, am I right? So I require your effort, his effort, everyone's effort. Now that you are aware of the language, you cannot think how I can contribute, how you can, if you have know somebody at the Department of Education, maybe you want to connect me, Go and see this person, or you tell that person this is a language, this will have a website. If you need any information, I will give you my email, telephone number in US. Hey, Telewire is telephone in Bosa language. If you telephone me, Telewire me, I'm good to go. So I cannot do it alone. I need your help, I need everybody's help. I came here all the way from US to sensitize the university because I wrote a letter to the Department of Education. This was way back 23rd January of 1989. And then they wrote, they replied me, completion of draft, the English Degosa Dictionary of Vocabulary. I am directed to acknowledge your letter on the above subject matters with thanks. This ministry appreciates your effort and the enthusiasm with which you have prosecuted the Gosa language project. It is hoped that you will seek the cooperation of the university's department of linguistics and Nigerian languages in order to 
achieve the success he desired. This is from the come from the Ministry of Education. Now, I have been to so many universities before leaving this country. I was at, I told you I was at the uni life. I told her the man moves me around. Then I went to UI, University, University of Ibadan. I got to the University of Ibadan. As usual, they held a team conference and put me down. Said, oh, your language has no now, no adjective, no syntax. I said, if, this is why I bring this matter for you guys to assist me. They said, no, language is this. Language is never this. Oh, how dare you? We have been in this uh, linguistic uh, tool for years. We never come to this in. Uh, so they kill it off. I insist. They say, OK, I should use my brain for that stuff. Dr. Lupe said, I have some mental uh, disturbance. The other, so they attack me left and right. Instead of seeing the, the value and finding how they can refine it, if a white person discovers something or invents something, otherwise you know, they come to a team up to, to, to modify it and refine it. That's why today you press a button, you can fly to the moon. Press a button, you can fly from here to anywhere in the world. Somebody started the aircraft. Started to learn how to fly. You see how they started working systematically. Somebody started electricity. If we killed a lot of people at the initial cycle, but today we have electricity, it's almost like life is of no use. So the same thing I'm telling everybody, while I'm appreciating the, the support, the moral support, whatever we can do, we can sign up this language here. I can come here and teach it as often as you guys want. It's a month of coordinating with the executive secretary. Maybe you want it once a month, once in two months, or whatever. That's a helping and synthesizing. Before you know it, all that people will sign up with Nico. Nico. Nico, like that. And pay to Shanti. Money is coming. <laughs> so, and we all cry, no money. No. Money cannot come from nowhere. You want to bring, disturb your brain. When you disturb your brain, money comes. When people sign up, like for instance, we are doing a conference every year at in, uh, in California. We want to sign up and we put to go. You just, all you do is pay the, the fee, the Roman fee and all the rest of it. We put to go. So this is a project where it's there, everything is there. You now have uh, the English dictionary of different names. You have microwaves, you have uh, American version in name it. Somebody can even write a dictionary of Brussels and in his or her name. And before we know it's all over the marketplace. So I hope I answered your question. Yes. So my question is this. How 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 are you going to take care of the because we know that the hubs have their own, the robots have theirs, the nodes have theirs, and they have some slight differences. Mm -hmm. How are you going to incorporate all of them so that they feel belong? Mm -hmm. Outside, some of them don't have a, a V in their own. Mm -hmm. People, we don't have a uh, X. You know, that that's we don't have. So, how are you going to make sure that all of us feel? Yeah, I, I wish I had uh, uh, my No, okay. The dictionary has all those uh, areas you're talking about. It has the orthography. It has the instruction, the rules, and the grammar of so many pages before the main dictionary. So it tells you how words are built, for instance. But first of all, those big words, those typical words you're talking about, we have to you know, carefully select them because it's a, it's a language across the ethnic group. There are so many uh, vocabularies in Borobo language, for instance, which me and you cannot pronounce. We stay away from all those ambiguous vocabularies. And we use the some simple one that transmits the same value and meaning. 
I don't now have the letter C. They use S. So many other languages like that. So we make sure we take the vocabulary that anybody, whether you're a Nigerian or non-Nigerian, you can pronounce it. That's why the Europeans, the school district, Oakland, they were able to see it and sign it up as a language. Because we have taken note of all those uh, difficulties. And then the dictionary, like I said, it contains the rules and the grammar. For instance, Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba are the major pillars of the Bosa language for now. That being said, it's like English language. If you open the English language, you have uh, Latin, uh, French, uh, Welsh, Greek. They all connect to make up what is called English language. Same thing, Bosa is made up of Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba. They are the tripod upon which all other languages are built. If you take a look at this house, what you see first and foremost is the wall, is the roof, and maybe the floor. But when you move inside, you see the windows, you see the door, you see the pens, you see different things. So the same thing with Bosa, Hausa, Ibo, and Europa are the first port of call. And as you progress, every other word comes from you know, the minor languages and dialects. You know, at the end, it becomes one language. So we already built all those words. I'm, I'm sorry I don't have the dictionary, but we have it on, 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 on the website. OK, sir. Last comment. No problem. I want to go after him. Mm -hmm. This is a command for the effort. This is a dynamic effort. Uh, it is serious awareness. I said the effort needs serious awareness. Then the approving authority, the approving authority should also play a role in this aspect. And if possible, we can get a legislation back in this in order to boost the effort. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, sir, I want to uh, join others in commending your effort. Uh, but I want to say, first of all, that inventors all over the world. I have always suffered it. Talk of Evochena. Talk of even Aristotle that came up with poetics. Right. Uh, so what we are suffering, don't see it as a very strange thing. Because it doesn't come new. Right. Even uh, Pierre Fermat, when he started his theorem that Chico be eventually, then we are. Look at Nigeria Abalaka here. You know, so inventors all over the world they have always suffered such a uh, fate. Uh, especially when it has to do with language now. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, of course, I know that across Africa, uh, I know there was a time the issue of what language do we speak as a whole Africa. I think Shoinka then even came up to He was talking of Iswahili and the rest of them. But uh, having said this, uh, on my own, I'm interested. In fact, I'm, I'm being aware of this very seriously for now. Other than the way I have had it, I'm being aware of it very seriously for now. And as we were talking, I, mean, I'm, I started thinking of what can I do with the language. But so soon I will come up to So having said that, I want to suggest, apart from the conference we used to have in the US, you may think of a major conference in Nigeria. Exactly. Uh, so that uh, even as you have said, of, of, of course, the authorities may be fighting it because I know one man, uh, Gabriel Ajadi, <laughs> he discovered, uh, in fact, Nigerian Medical Council and Nigerian Medical Association were fighting him because he belonged to, he belonged to the language class. He's not a medical doctor. Yeah. <laughs> they him. In fact, even when United, even when United, United Nations said, we appreciate this man's uh, invention, and then said no. So. Uh, even as authorities, you know, they are fighting you, or the way you know the way you are talking about it now, like the legislature is talk, talking about. It. If we have people indicating interest, yes. because for now, you know, various organizations like we have MPA, okay, uh, we have uh, uh, SONTA, mm -hmm. that is various bodies that have their own association. Yes. If you have a body of Goza language 
speakers or okay. associations yes. yeah, exactly. as a body in Nigeria yes. so that apart from only you championing it, every year they can call for a conference, exactly. people will enter the paper and while it is happening here in Nigeria, across Africa, people will pick it up so that it doesn't have to do with people must come to the US mm -hmm. to do that. Right. If you start it here, you, you notice that you have, you have a lot of followers exactly. so that People can begin to write, apart from the little pamphlet such a person you know, has written, somebody can write a play of a novel, a poem, and you know, and before you know, they begin to have, have the outlets with which people come in contact with language yes. eh, must have been embraced by Goza as a language. I think when you do this, little uh, awareness and bigger one will eventually come. And whether the opposition like it or not, before you do it, I must really appreciate your effort. It's really not easy. Not everybody can sit down and think out what we have. So um, I noticed um, something about the language. Since it's basically about it cuts across different. It, okay, sorry. Since the language cuts across diverse um, dialects, my question is: Is there a system that one can use? Because I realized some of the words you mentioned in Visa, some started with Igbo, some started with Hausa. So is there a system set? To arrange. Good. The dictionary is on the website, but before you go to the website, let me tell you how words are made. The words have already been arranged before in the dictionary, so you don't have to go about oh, which word should I pick for. It is like English language, for instance. We all, we all know the different part of speech that make up English. The same thing, Gosa has a different part of speech. And then, in a nutshell, any words that you can visualize, anything you can see with the naked eyes, the after. You use Hausa or the neighboring languages in the northern part of Nigeria as a visible noun. But for the non-visible noun, that is anything you cannot visualize, like part of speech, verb, and so on. You use every of the words from the Igbo and Yoruba based on alphabetical sequence. For instance, when I say Biko, Fumi, Ni, Rua, the Igbo says Biko, which is please. Yoruba says Ejo, which is please. Which comes first? B, Biko. Then Fumi, Igbo says Nyim. Yoruba says Fumi. So F comes before N. So you now have Biko for me. Then to qualify it with a visible noun, Biko for me, Rua, Biko for me, Abenchi, Biko for me, Kudi. And it goes on. For instance, when I say Monshenga Sule, I'm going to the farm. Monshenga Sule in Bosa. Sule is a word from team language which is farm. And Sule, according to the Bosa, is grouped, and the team is grouped among the middle bed to the upper part of the country. So if I say Moshenga Makalanta, I'm going to the school. Makalanta is school in Halifax. Mo is Europe, I mean, person, first person. Mo, NG, which is progressive, uh, something progressive, NG. Moshenga, Shenga is Oshin, not Ga, that is Shenga, meaning go, moving. Forward, more Shenga, Makalanta, and go to the school. So, my dear, we have the system in the dictionary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, I just want on behalf of the class to give, uh, please, a down. Just give both of thanks. Uh, yes, can we have a simple policy on this group? What somebody have come up with the evidence so that how this group. As a group now, not as a group. Well, sir, it's not possible to take that, to take that on the day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on behalf of the uh, Director of Education, the Coordinator of the Mojia Study Center, and the guest lecturer, Master Governor, uh, colleagues. Uh, 
I think we should just thank God for the day and thank the authorities of um, Nitro Training School for going to this level to bring um, inventors like this. Um, one of the speakers, I already said some of the things that I want to say. I'm just trying to see if I can catch up in a minute or two and then come back to give you a very short period of time so that we can follow up. The inventor, the linguistic inventor, man has come up with the language. He's doing Nigeria so much good. But you know, Nigerians, people like him, they fall into this trap all the time. When you have a beautiful idea, you want to be um, registered. No good idea is registered before it blows. For instance, you have to reverse, you have to go all the way back to Genesis. Who registered English language before it, became, before it became a global language? Who registered French? Who registered Greek? Do you understand? So most, who you do registered plane? When the guy started flying his plane, he finished or not? It was people who went to him to even begin to buy and ask and all of that. So I think that's the same thing. If an idea like this is like a revolution. You don't have to go to anybody to seek permission because they're going to take it down, especially in a place like a country, whether we accept it or yes, where we have the heritage of witchcraft. Yes, uh, we don't want any other person coming with something that doesn't come from us, we pay it down. So, so sir, the first appeal from our class is that look away from uh, wanting somebody to recognize what is university and all of that because uh, in Nigeria, people want to be the ones who have started something. No one Number two, sir, we cannot be running from the from the west and then we're still going to them. This is Gosa, it's supposed to be a, a language, it's supposed to be something for Nigeria, for West Africans and all of that. But it's the, the conference, just as my one of the speakers said, is holding in the US. Doesn't make sense. So sir, we need to look at that again with the eyes of the big man and see that the conference actually holds in Nigeria. You know, I think that is important to also do that. And just yesterday, I don't know whether we even know, in, I come from Akwa I'm not sure I understand the line of Yoruba. But the Americans, because they want to con constantly be ahead of us. In their universities, in fact, yesterday, about 10, some tens or 20 of them, they were graduating. White Americans graduating from the Yoruba department in American University. Yeah. So that's what they do, they just adapt it, and then very soon they will come here and start teaching on the Yoruba. And they will start to get the So I think this is important. No. There's something you touched about this was a language that is beautiful for Nigeria. I yesterday I wrote something to uh, President Mahmoud I was telling him the president is constantly failing the country well, because it's, the things that we expected that oh president why when it comes to going to do it's not focused on that, it's focused on money, 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 collecting money. This language will help us in the sense that it's going to unify Nigerians. For instance, this is a Nigerian and a Nigerian. It doesn't come from my state. And I need to pass a secret to me. A Japanese is here. And I need to tell him something against Japan that will not offend the man. And I don't need to say it in English. Unfortunately, I cannot say it in English. There's no other equation. And then we call ourselves one country. So I think this is important. And that's not because I'm a media person. I think the media, especially the social media, is like is the is the place for you to go to. Put this thing on the social media and let it catch fire. You just see the people who fall to it. When people start speaking, it, it's the authorities, it's the Nigerian government that will call you. Eh, hey, sir, hey, this thing, how can it be done? They start paying you in millions. <laughs> and I hope some of us will be there. Having said that, on behalf of this class, we'd like to thank you. Uh, we're looking forward to having um, um, intercourses like this, linguistic intercourses like this with you uh, in the near future. And I hope that we'll continue to benefit from Gosa. You too would now learn, because there are some people that I'm sure in this class, um, Gosa as a dialect, who has a language has not taken care of their own dialect. So it's when we meet that dictionary, we will now write another one. Having said so, we'd like to thank you. Like to thank you for this. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Nigeria bo kasawa, kasa aduna, oduna, oduna. Kasa aduna, Nigeria bo kasawa, kasa aduna, oduna, oduna. Kasa aduna, bia wasa baye sase, kasa aduna, siti rude yola. Kasa aduna, bia wasa kaduna. Kasa aduna city rude bini city. Kasa aduna, duna oh duna, oh duna, oh duna, oh duna. Kasa aduna, Nigeria's a country. What a blessed country, a country, oh.